Hey, y'all. Uh, wasn't sleeping. I just was bored. Looking at some of them top draft picks for that 2024 draft, of which it's, it's just so disrespectful to me. Shit, I just seen not a clip, but a, a statement that said, yo, Bronny went 19 for 25 on three-point shots for the NBA draft combine. Now, that's amazing to me. Shit, a nigga shooting 19 for 25? That's just about the best shooter in the league because let's keep it a stack. Steph Curry is a good sharpshooter. He's not much of an athlete anymore. Shit, that nigga, that nigga damn sure is a is a get open fucking um screen using Hall of Fame specialist. So hey, you know. I don't I definitely don't consider Steph to be the best shooter anymore because shit. He don't even go get his own shot anymore. He just straight up and down, just runs through picks. So nah, I definitely say shit. That man, that man, little uh, Bronny James, little LeBron Jr. Nigga, what? That nigga got the best jump shot just about. Um, as y'all can see, I'm just going with the little two braids. In the back of my head, as y'all can tell, it's not braided. I like this look because it's sweaty as fuck. It's a hundred. And three degrees outside the other day. So y'all yeah, know how I be in Phoenix. I can't can't be dealing with that heat. Um Yeah, I, I seen the guy who they said might go number one. They was like it might if it's not Alex Sar, the seven foot Frenchman, another seven foot Frenchman, they said it's gonna be Reed Shepard, which I was thinking to myself, well damn, I ain't never heard of Reed Shepard. Is he better than uh Rob Dillingham, Rob Dillingham, the um, uh, like the six two six four nigga with the braids. I was like, shit, that went to uh Kanye West school for uh Kanye West school for basketball. I was like, nah, he can't be better than him. I looked up the first clip, man, this this tall ass nigga. It says he about six. He's almost 6'3 with no shoes. Lucky for me, I live in an amazing world where I'm fortunate enough to not be super short, but to be short enough to be 5'11 and only four pennies. Now, I was I was growing up, I was very dismayed about this. I was like, damn, I wanted to be a power forward my whole life. But hey, that's just that's just the that's just what God gave me. And I'm perfectly happy with it. But yeah, nah, I was looking at Reed Shepard. I said, well, damn, if Reed Shepard is considered better than Rob Dillingham. Let me look at his highlights. Let me see what let me see what he been doing. The first clip of his highlights is a wide open fast break doing a plain Jane two-hand drop in dunk. I was like, oh, okay. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna throw shade on nobody. Hey shit, if I if I played for a school where I felt like my being in a starting lineup was in jeopardy of me missing a wide open a wide open fast break. Shit, I might do the same shit. I just might do the same exact shit. And then guess what? I I I, I was hoping to God, yo, please, please tell me this nigga not out here asking for screens, asking for picks and shit. The very second clip is a is a fucking a jump shot off of a screen it is straight up he called for a pick he got the screen he took a jump shot yeah right there that's where we ended um it wasn't that great of a jump shot in my opinion it was just the average six three six four fucking clay thompson uh and that's not even clay thompson height and clay thompson had bunnies this nigga was not clay thompson um matter of fact this nigga was um 2024 Clay Thompson after he just came back from the injury type type player. But it ain't no shade on no niggas that's not bouncy. Hey, shit, I've been sick for a long time now as far as recently. And shit, I'm still a little sick. Although, hey, shit, today was the day for me to try to get back in the gym. I just didn't have that energy. Shit, I went into motherfucking McDonald's this morning. Oh, uh, man, nothing, nothing negative happened. Praise the Lord, nothing negative happened. But I damn sure, um... I damn sure almost shit myself. I damn sure almost shit myself. Uh, one day I'll give y'all that story of why I almost shit myself. But uh, today's not that day. Today's not that day. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy I got my got my little Dr. Pepper. 
I ain't even had no money like that. I, I had like fucking. I paid in all quarters. No, I just got, I got the Dr Pepper. I almost shit myself, but didn't. Luckily enough. Praise to the Lord. And I got the fuck up out. So sure, yeah. But yeah, nah, man. Homie, homie came through with the plain Jane two hand dunk. I'm, and to say his name with Alex Sar, who's a seven foot Frenchman. God damn, what done happened to the NBA? Shit, I fuck with Caitlin Clark though. You know, whenever she drop her shoes, if I ever play college ball, I definitely rock them shits. Cause you know, I ain't gonna rock no, no shoes that's no, you know, no um, no non padded, you know, just quick and fast hyper dunk female sneakers. Most days I never would. Even in Kobe's, every pair of Kobe's other than the Kobe 2s, of which I love them Kobe 2s, them ones that, that come around your ankle, they real high top, you know? That's my favorite pair of sneakers. I never had them. If I had them, I had one pair before I started playing ball in like first or second grade. And I just warmed to death. I straight up and down just love the comfort. I just love that feeling. I might go play a game of tag. That's about... That's about as far as I ever did with them sneakers. God rest Mr. Bryant. God rest, God rest the fucking, that fucking Black Mamba. Boy, would I have loved to see him in action. But, hey. He gone. That man has transcended. Yeah, but yeah, that was that. Um, so yeah, I just got me a little pop from from um from McDonald's. Got me a pop from McDonald's. Uh, a decent. It wasn't an amazing breakfast. It was it was decent. Um, shit. Uh, sadly, I was go cop a new pair of kicks so I could go play ball. I don't got the money for that shit right now. Um, the twenty sixth or the twenty eighth, I believe a new check is gonna come in. And I have some money. So hopefully whenever that happens, I'll go ahead, buy some new shoes, and I'll go back to the regular gym, the basketball gym. And I'll get back on my workout shit. Um as far as me playing basketball, shit, man. Um I say I say about um my pits is mad sweaty. I just put deodorant on her. That's how I know it's hot as a motherfucker in here. And go downstairs, check that thermostat real quick. It's probably not even on. Yeah, so I'm gonna go downstairs, check that thermostat real quick. Um. So yeah, nah, um, I'm decent. I'm not in great health. Uh, I came from work last night. Woke up early in the morning. Went to Whole Foods, got my food. Um, cooked my little burger. Sound. Uh, came home, went to McDonald's, almost shit myself. Um, to fucking grab my Dr. Pepper because the fucking, the fucking drive through line was so long. Dear Lord, I fucking should have just, I should have just sat my ass in that car for real, for real. Um, but I got lucky. I got lucky. I walked. I didn't shit myself. Uh, I walked in. I got what I needed. I got out. Praise the Lord. Um, hmm. Anything else I wanted to say? Oh, yeah. Ah, fucking Phoenix Suns then. And a fire day coach. <laughs> Hilarious. Like, that's going to change anything. They should more than likely just pick up any fucking random nigga. Stop paying people a bunch of fucking money. Because we done already we already got the three fucking star players. If I combine it. So, Devin Booker's getting 50. Uh, my man Bradley Bill's getting like 40, 42. <clears throat> I think KD's only getting 44. Or 40, just about as well. But that still is almost a whopping 133 or 135,000, 35 million, my bad, 133, 135 million amongst three people. That's not five people like our starting lineup, that's three people. And in our starting lineup, we have a stretch big that don't really got vert, don't got no bungees like that. But hey, he's fairly tall, so mm, they should just replace him with ball ball, but they're not going to do that, whatever. Um... So it is that. It's four. It's four overpaid players. Although shit, they're well worth it. But I just don't think that changing a coach is gonna do anything. I don't. I don't believe that the coach has anything to even do with these players. I believe that these players will do whatever they want to do, 
And uh, if we fail, we fail. It's just about what I believe. Um, shit, they could make me coach. Shit, I take, I, I, I take a quarter of an M, um, a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, and uh, maybe a nice pair of Toro Jordan fours. It's one of my favorite shoes. Toro Jordan fours, but even more exclusive than that, and they are really exclusive. The Motorboat Jones Nines. It's my favorite shoe. Anybody here sees this video years from now, they want to send me a pair of shoes, that is the pair of shoes that you send me. Even if they're used, they are dog to death. I will pay, go to a shoemaker, and get them repaired. The Motorboat Jordan 9s. That is, that is one of my favorite pairs of shoes. Why? I could just see myself doing anything in that shoe. Not just playing basketball, but just going out. Nice day on the town. All white outfit. Those on. Matter of fact, all black outfit. Those on. Could Cole Blum wear a suit and put those on? It's one of my favorite shoes. Hmm. Anything else I wanted to say? Yeah, but I never. <laughs> I just had some chips. Y'all know me, I fuck with them blue chips. Y'all don't gotta buy me no chips. I'm real picky with my food. So yeah, if y'all see this, and y'all wanted to see a shoe, hey, y'all might wanna see me wear, if y'all wanna see me wear a brand new pair of shoes on court, buy me them fours, them Toro fours. But nah, if I had to say my favorite pair, of which I probably, I wear all shoes to the court. Like, yo, don't think that, yo, you gonna buy me a nice pair of shoes and they not gonna get worn the first day that I wear them on a basketball court. I'm not one of these females out here that's coming outside trying to look pretty. That's not the type of life that I really live. I'm trying to get for, for, for the court to go play ball with the fellas. But yeah, nah, if y'all if y'all wanna see me in a pair of, of everyday sneakers that I would wear almost every day, you buy me a pair of Motorboat Jones Jordan 9s. They are all red Jordan 9s. That's what you do. You get me those. I believe that there's a blue pair of those Jordan 9s, which is still pretty good, too. You could get those. But if you wanted my favorite pair, the one that I really want is that Motorboat 9s. Just get them. Just get them. Don't even think. Okay, well, that's it for today. And y'all have a blessed day now.